Hi guys, welcome back to Love Birdie Face Painting and Body Art. And um, but today I'll be doing a small haul video on some face paints that I got and also some Chow Copic markers. So the first colour I picked up was the Tag Body Art Pearl Yellow. So I got this from facepaintforeverybody.com which is located in Adelaide in South Australia. So it's a really nice pearly yellow as the name suggests and this is what it looks like on the skin. So the colour is really nice and opaque. Um, pearly and nice and smooth. I decided to get this colour because um, I'm doing a tiger body art painting soon and I thought um, a really nice pearl yellow would be better than a, a regular yellow. I find the regular yellow is really um, too strong sometimes for a tiger face so something a little bit softer with a pearl finish I thought would be nice. And the next colour I got was an, an orange pearl as well from Tag. And this one's for my job as well. It's going to blend really nicely with the pearl yellow, I think. So this is it swatched. So again, it's really nice opaque and um, pearly on the skin and not as... Um, not as strong colour as just the regular orange. So I also did get the regular orange because I thought just in case the client didn't want to be to have a sheen or a pearl look to the skin. So this is what the pearl regular this is what the regular orange looks like. So that's swatched near the pearl orange and you can see the difference. Um, this one's a lot more softer to the, to the look and um, this is very bright and strong. So the fourth colour that I got was Tag um, Regular White. Pretty boring colour. Um, I like Tag for bases um, but I do like Chameleon and Wolf for um, line work. So this is what it looks like on the skin. So here's the colours um, close up. So you can see the really nice sheen of these two pearl colours here. Um, you can see the difference between the pearl um, orange and the, just the regular orange. So a lot more subtle colour in the pearl, um, which I think it looks really nice Actually, if you team these two together, if you start with the um, pearl colours and then maybe around the hairline for a tiger, you could add in the darker orange just for a, a different effect. So that's those. So the next colour I got was um, this split cake from Global Colours. This one is called Congo and I'm going to be using it for leaves um, around roses, around flowers, um, probably also some dinosaur designs. So this is what it looks like swatched on the skin. Um, very seamless blend, um, applies really smoothly, um, really nice global. Um, global do a really nice um, split cakes and yeah, so I really like that one. First impressions are pretty good. The next colour is Tag Rose. So this one I use for roses and for flowers and for um, princess crowns. Um, really good to do some, some quick designs with, um, quick and easy, and the girls love the um, colour combination. So I'll swatch this one for you. So there's the swatch. It's really great um, colour combination again, um, smooth blending of the colours and yeah this is going to be really good for all the roses that I do. So this combo, the leaves and the roses. So here are the split cakes close up. 
and you can see that the application is really smooth and the colours um, blend really nicely together. The product I got is this Tag Body Art um, White Cosmetic Mica Powder. So this is more like a makeup product than a face painting product to me anyway. So it's a powder and it's really really fine. Um, so I'll just show you what this looks like on the skin. If you can see it, I'm not sure. It creates a really light shimmery um, look to the skin. This is really great to put over designs for adults or teens. Um, I'm, I bought this so I can use it for um, my weekend market. Um, I'm going to cr be creating some bo bohemian sort of designs around the eyes for adults. So I thought this would be really nice, a uh, subtle sheen to the skin. So if you're wondering what paintbrush I was using, I was using the Paint Pal Arty Brush Large from Made by Silly Farm. Um, you can purchase these from facepaintsonline.com.au. Um, if you're in Australia um, and if you're in America, you can get them from um, Silly Farm Direct. So that's them. And the other brush I was using was a Lowell Cornell round number four, I think it is. Yep, number four. This is great for line work, butterflies, etc. Another product I got was a sponge. These are tag half round sponges, um, so half of a circle cut in half. Um, these are really good. Uh, tag now have a different supplier for their sponges. I um, don't know if you noticed, but they're a lot denser um, and I find that they put on the colour a lot better than the other sponges. Um, yeah, probably because it's a lot dense and it holds the colour a lot better. So that's um, tag sponges half round.